Hi, my name's Mitz and I'm going to show you how to find your files and folders in Windows Vista um, and also a couple of little tricks to go along with it. So what we're going to do is press on the start menu for starters. Now up here we have um, a link to the documents which is mostly where you'd store any of your fol um, like Microsoft Word documents or something like that. Uh, pictures and music. Um, these are the most common folders that people use. Um, just say you put your camera in and you put photos on the computer, they would automatically be taken to the picture folder here. So you can press on that. Um, just say you were writing a Microsoft Word, you know, a letter in Microsoft Word, if you went to save it, it would automatically by default go to documents folder. Okay, now this is my username. So what I'll do is click on that and it will show anything to do with my user. Okay, um, so this is a, another way to get to the pictures folder or the music folder or stuff like that. Documents, downloads, contacts all sorts of things. Um, also up the top here um, you can navigate around like this. If you press these little arrows here it um, shows you what's contained in this section. So in the MITS section which is my user these are the folders okay that are in that section. Now if I press on documents it'll show the documents here but also if you press on the little arrow it'll show the folders that are in the documents folder. Um, if I want to go back I can go to the desktop and see what's on my desktop that everyone sees. So all the icons and stuff are there. Now same with over here. This is my actual desktop and this is the desktop folder that's actually holding all the icons. Um, another little thing is that there's usually a menu here. Now if you press ALT the menu comes up and you can get to some other settings here. Okay. Now that doesn't usually show by default so all you have to do is press the ALT key and it'll come up. Okay. There's more things in there like customizing your folders and folder options and stuff like that. Um, also another thing that you can do is you can right click in this space here and say copy the address or copy the address as text or edit the address. Now if I press edit the address it'll show the actual path to where we are. Okay. Um, now if I take it to the documents folder and just say click on a folder and now I'm going to say copy the address as text. Well, what I can do is go and paste that somewhere now. I'll just open up a notepad and I'll show you if I paste it. Right, it's pasted it as a path. Now see that? MITS documents Bluetooth exchange folder. It's actually set it out as in um, so the computer can understand where it actually is. Okay, I hope that um, helped you. Thanks for watching.